Hey everyone, welcome to another video. I really think that any of these colors could work with pretty much any skin tone, but I think they're particularly good if you've got a medium sort of olive skin tone. Going back a few years ago now, when I thought of a nude color, I thought of like a really light color. And whenever I tried those colors, they just didn't look right on me. And, and then I'd look at something like that and I'd be like, how is that nude? Because as I say, when you think about nude, you think of like a beige shade, but I don't think those colors suit everyone. And I think that when you look at nude lip colors, it's good to look at a nude that's right for your, your skin complexion. Starting with lip liners, I use one of two. These are both really old, but the good thing is they last a long time. They're both from MAC. This one is Whirl and this one is Saw. I've had these forever. Probably I've had them for about two years. They just last so long. But I'm gonna start with the first one, which is Whirl. Whirl is slightly more brown. Saw is a little bit more mauvey pink. I always color in my entire lip before whatever lip color I put on. In addition to coloring them in, what I also try and do is if you've got any asymmetry where your lips are maybe fuller on one side than the other i have that whereby on this side the cupid's bow is higher than the other side but then i feel like the edge of the lip there isn't so much so i sort of what i do is i build up this side like on the top and then uh like level it out with the one next to it and then i draw see what i mean and like you just keep until they look how you want them that is Whirl now. This is the sexiest color you will ever see. Honestly, I love this color. This is Charlotte Tilbury and it is Super Cindy. This color is honestly my favorite lip color. If you put it on on its own, I personally find it's a little bit too coral, but if you put it over the top of a more brown lip pencil, I just, I love it. How nice is that color? I love it, it's my absolute favorite. I feel like I wear this so much at the moment. That's Charlotte Tilbury with MAC Whirl. Charlotte Tilbury, I love her lipsticks. They feel so comfortable on. That one I think is Matte Revolution, is it? Before I say that. Yeah, that one is Matte Revolution. The other line that she's got, are, the, are they're called Kissing Lipsticks and they've got more of a sheen to them. But this feels like a velvet matte it feels comfortable, it never dries out on your lip. It feels like a lipstick, only it doesn't have the sheen to it. So if you like a more matte looking lip, but you can't stand that uncomfortable nature of it, then I highly recommend these lipsticks. The next lipstick is a Christian Louboutin one. I like the quality of his lipsticks, but actually having owned a few, I've got to say, I don't, I don't love the color range. There's a load of colors there, but some of them are maybe, it depends on your skin tone as well, but a lot of the colors there are very dark. But I got this one and I like it, and I think this is called, I think it is called Zulu. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like online. You'll see what I mean, it is quite dark, but when I'm in the mood for this, I don't mind it. Because it is very brown, almost like a muddy brown, I'm gonna warm it up a bit with using this lip pencil, which is Saw. I always use this with it. This is a really good product. This is by Armani Prima, and it is a lip and eye cream, like a balm, and you use it with your makeup. So if you get any fine lines or sort of dryness or any like wrinkles around your eyes that maybe make your concealer go, this is really good to use with your makeup, but also you can use it on lips. And it's a really nice like absorbing white cream. See, Saw on its own is a nice color, isn't it? When I look at that. So this color is Zulu and I, I love the alternative. Like I'm just gonna do like a quick comparison to Charlotte Tilbury that I showed you earlier. You can see there how much darker this one is. If you're into that sort of color, then I think you'd like this. It's also really, let me just show you. That's the sort of tone of it there. What have we got next? I, keep, I said that Charlotte Tilbury one was my favorite and I'm not sure. I really like this as well. This is Marc Jacobs. It is a, matte liquid lipstick i love matte liquid lipsticks but i hate how dry they are and this one has got i think they said it's got like shea butter in it so when you put it on it feels like a velvet matte only 
It feels really hydrating and the color is amazing. This is in the color Slow Burn. I do have a lip liner to match it, but actually it's run out. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like without a lip liner because it's full coverage enough that you can do that with it. So this is Slow Burn. Isn't it the nicest color? It's like a brownie mauvey pink. When you wear the lip liner with it, actually the lip liner when I went on holiday, the lip liner was all I wore in the day because it was not as heavy as this and also with, but with both of them, the weird thing is they don't really come off, but the lip liner, because it's a lip liner, it almost stains your lips, which I like. But this color is so nice. You can also get it, I think, in a lipstick. It takes like a little minute to dry down. Like it hasn't dried just yet, but when I say it dries down, I don't mean like the, you know, the Kylie Cosmetics lip kits. I don't know if anyone tried those, but I really didn't get on with those because they were so drying that they actually used to crack up and then I'd have pieces of colour falling off my lips. With this it dries down but it dries to like a velvet matte, like a cream, almost like a really matte creamy lipstick is how it feels when it's on. Let's talk about Sugar Pill, my first and only lip product from them, or any product in fact. If you're into nude sort of brownie pinky colours, you're going to love this. What shall I do? Okay, I'm going to use Saw. I've followed Sugar Pill for years on social media and I love their packaging, I love their colour range, I love the makeup artists that use their items, like the creations they come up with. I'm quite boring with my makeup and so I've never, although I like them and I admire them, I've never bought anything, but then they came out with this colour last year. It's called Trinket and it is a beautiful brown, it's a matte liquid lipstick. It dries down like a velvet. The only thing I would say with this is that after a couple of hours, you feel the need to reapply it because it feels overly dry. But wait until I show you the Piesta Resistance. So the color itself. By the way, it smells like chocolate orange. It's so yummy. So this is how it goes on. It is completely creamy. It smells amazing. It smells like I've just eaten chocolate orange. It smells so good. The best bit is yet to come because when it dries down, it has a gold shimmer in it. Like I'm gonna have to get you close for this. I'm really sorry, but it's gonna be worth it. Is it drying down? It's starting to dry now and you can see the color. It's like a beautiful, warm, um, orangey sort of nudie color. Honestly, to me, this lip color is magical. It's beautiful and I love the way that it goes gold, but it's not like overpowering gold and it's almost the type of gold that you catch in the light. Is it showing up a bit better now? I think it is. I think you can just about see it. It's so subtle, but it's so pretty. Not only that, but how beautiful is the packaging? The packaging is so cute. Oh, you can really see the gold now. I don't want to wipe it off. This is probably the darkest color that I have that I wear in the day and it pulls a little bit red so i'm gonna dark like muddy up a bit with some of the color whirl tom ford it is the color casablanca i've worn this color before but i actually got sent this um in a pr package just recently and it made me realize why i like it and i'm sort of like back to wearing it again it is nude but it's got a hint of wine in it i feel anyway the one thing i don't love about it but it's easily fixed is that this lipstick doesn't dry down. It's not got a matte tone to it. It stays with a sheen on it. But what I do is that I just get some transparent powder and I just dab it over the top and it makes it go matte. But the color itself is really nice. And I particularly like this color in summer. You know, when you're wearing minimal makeup, but to wear sort of something that's a little bit stronger on your lips can look quite nice. Plus as well, the good thing is with this, if you are someone who pretty much lives wearing nude lip colors or like pale lip colors. If you want to experiment without going too crazy, then this is a good color because you're still in that remit of nude, but it's it's more sort of like towards the ready end of the spectrum. Then the final lip color in the series of colors that I'm always wearing is another Tom Ford lipstick. This is in Pussycat and it is a, it, that looks a bit like Mac Brave. It reminds me of that. It's quite a warm mauve color, but it's, um, what would you say? It looks quite pink there. If a lipstick's generally quite pink, unless I want it to be pink, I'll use a brown lip liner. If it's quite pinky, I'll use, no, yeah. If it's pink, I'll use brown. If it's brown, I'll use pink, if you see what I mean. So in this instance, I'm gonna go back to using Whirl. 
and that is Pussycat. And can you see, if I use it on its own, it's quite pink, but by putting that brown lip pencil under it, it's just tweaked it a tiny bit. I really think that any of these colours could work with pretty much any skin tone, but I think they're particularly good if you've got a medium sort of olive skin tone. I'll put details of everything below. I hope that you've enjoyed hanging out. This has been a really fun video. I should do more of these. Thank you so much everyone and I will see you in the next video.